Hi. Uh, so, in this video, I would like to tell about um, a university in Europe that is uh, of particular interest for many different specialities, and uh, I'd like to tell you why I want to emphasize on it and uh, what's, what's just generally cool about that. So, um, you might be wondering, um, after you graduate from your bachelor's degree or um, master's degree or even high school, uh, that you want to study in Europe, and um, that idea just came across your mind and you barely know what to do with it. Um, maybe you've heard of people who want to study in the most like popular study destinations such as the Great Britain or United States and you know how hard it is to get accepted to those universities um, that you need to prepare in advance uh, all your examinations um, all your um, great transcripts from your high school a lot of recommendations a great portfolio and all of that stuff uh, and uh, you might be generally too late to do that uh, and uh, I'd like to tell you that there is a, a great option if you if you already missed that train uh, but it's not in any way uh, worse than the previous options it's uh, just another thing <laughs> so uh, if you ever wondered how to study in um, Finland uh, you might be uh, wanting to apply there uh, because um, if you want to study for free, uh, you need to learn the language. But if you only know English, uh, that's enough to apply there and get accepted and uh, maybe win the scholarship. There are several scholarships for undergraduate students. So if you are, if you have good grades and um, a good portfolio, you might be getting it. But if you don't, you just pay the tuition and study there. So uh, the one particular university I would like to discuss is Aalto University. I'm not sure how it's uh, pronounced properly, uh, but um, it's A A L A L L T O Aalto University. So um, it its location it's um, very metropolitan um, in in the center of the city. It's um, not somewhere in the woods, um, n not anything like that. So if you might be wondering, like, do you need to commute somewhere? Do you need to, um, will you have any trouble finding maybe a part-time job to finance your studies? Um, you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't worry about that. Um, so how you apply and uh, what can you apply for? So, um, you can apply for any level of education. Uh, I can tell about um, the option that was uh, inter of interest to me, uh, which is a master's and the bachelor's program. So uh, in many, many countries, bachelor's program is usually about um, four years, sometimes even five in Russia where I'm from, it's sometimes five years long. Um, what about here? Uh, it's bachelor's program itself is only three years long. And um, if you want to get a master's with it, um, it's uh, two more years. So during the five years of your studies, you already get um, a master's and a bachelor's degree. Um, you kind of enroll in both of them, uh, but um, you, you can skip the master's part for sure. Um, the most popular um, uh, majors that uh, that I remember kind of are chemical engineering, uh, it's um, data science, I think uh, quantum technology, and um, yeah business economics, finance, and uh, a lot of different types of engineering. So it's electrical engineering, I think, and uh, yeah you can you can um, Google it yourself because there are there are a lot of majors. I was just um, naming it from, from my head, uh, the ones that I remember. So, um, the tuition fees are um, from 12,000 euros to 15,000 euros. It depends on the year, uh, it depends if it's a master's, if it's a bachelor's degree, uh, it depends on the major, um, and it's for non 
uh, European Union um, students. So if you are if you have a passport of the European Union, you uh, you are not obligated to pay those uh, tuition fees. Um, what's important uh, about this university is that um, you need to apply in a very very strict uh, week during the year, two weeks. So usually uh, how it's how it's done, you you have a, a long long period of time when you can submit your applications maybe like even in September uh, of the year before you want to study or um, until February. So it's usually a long period of time, but in Finland, it doesn't work like that, totally doesn't. Um, you have from the, um, let me see, I think from, from the 5th of uh, January to 19th of January, you have only two weeks when you can apply for universities in Finland. You need to fill out uh, an application form where you say like which majors you want to apply to, upload your um, cover letter, um, transcripts. Uh, if it if you have an like academic, um, if you have a diploma already, for example, a bachelor's degree, you upload it there. Then you uh, tick all the boxes where you want to apply for scholarships. You apply for them and uh, just uh, click submit. You can apply for up to I think six programs, not not six universities, but six programs. So you can apply for different um, programs in one university, for example. Uh, and that's it. Uh, then you are contacted by the university uh, if you are accepted or not. Uh, maybe there's some trouble with your documents. Maybe you are waitlisted. Um, the communications goes from there. Um, but um, the admissions rate uh, is uh, not that high, so if you have uh, a pretty decent GPA and uh, have a lot of uh, great motivation, um, you might be the one who is going to study in a L2 university next year. So uh, if you want to help me, uh, if you want me to help you with applying to this particular university or any other program in Finland, I am uh, very happy and delighted to help you. Um, you can always contact me. I'll leave my details below. And uh, have a great, uh, have great study day, maybe, or um, wish you, wish you to study in a great university next year.